in this video, we'll learn how to set up the game Imperial. Place the game board in the center of the table. Place the taller of the three nation markers for each nation in the middle of the rondelle. The low nation markers are placed on the first place of the scoring track and on the lowest space of the tax chart. Each of the six nations starts with two factories. These factories are placed onto the square cities on the game board. There are brown squares and blue squares. Brown squares get brown factories, and blue squares get blue factories. The remaining factories that have not yet been built are placed next to the game board in reach of all the players. Place the Swiss bank tiles next to the board. Set aside the four rondelle cheat sheets for players to use during the game. Each nation has nine bonds that are sorted into piles of ascending order with the lowest value on top. Each pile is placed next to the appropriate nation's treasury. The money is sorted and placed next to the game board as the bank. Next, you'll be distributing money and bonds to the players. This depends on player count. In a two-player game, each player receives starting money amounting to 35 million. They get three fives and ten twos from the bank. In a three-player game, each player receives 24 million, two fives and seven twos from the bank. And in a four to six player game, each player receives 13 million, one five and four twos from the bank. In a two-player game, one player receives Austria, Germany, and France, and the other player receives Italy, Great Britain, and Russia. The initial distribution of the bonds is shown on the backs of the nation flag cards. Each player takes the bonds shown on the back of their cards from the bond pile and pays the corresponding price into the treasury of that nation. In a three-player game, one player gets Austria, Hungary, and Great Britain, another player gets Italy and Russia, and the third player gets France and Germany. The remaining card or cards are given in each case to the player who has the two million bond of this nation. If none of a nation's bonds have been distributed, its nation flag card remains in the bank for the moment. Regardless of the player count, when all initial bonds are distributed among the players, each player will have two million remaining. The rest will be in the nation's treasuries. There is a bond distribution variant for experienced players, but I'll let you look at that for yourself. Give the starting player token to the player who has the Austria-Hungary flag. Give the investor marker to the player to the left of the Austria-Hungary player. And now you're ready to begin your first game of Imperial. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more content.